Hello everyone, it's time for another Good to Know Monday tip. Today's video tip is titled, How to Enjoy Both Success and Happiness at the Same Time. There's a principle that says, when all is said and done, success without happiness is the worst kind of failure. Philosophers, wise men, and poets alike are nearly unanimous in their conclusion that the ultimate goal in life is to be happy, and yet happiness for a lot of humanity is a butterfly which, when pursued, seems to be just beyond one's grasp. Why do you suppose that is? What is there about this condition, though free to all, makes it so rare? And what must we do or cease doing in order to let more sunshine into the somber days of our lives? Our nation's founding documents were the first of such documents to incorporate the word happiness into its pages. Yet more than 244 years of experience since that declaration have proven that giving us the freedom to enjoy happiness has been no guarantee that we would be happy. Success and happiness are often coupled as goals, as if the attainment of the first automatically guarantees the second. This just isn't so. All of us know so-called successful individuals who are miserable, right? The question then becomes, can we be both successful and happy at the same time? And I proclaim absolutely yes. There are five spiritual or emotional senses, depending on your worldview, that are just as important to your life as the five physical senses of hearing and seeing and smelling, tasting and feeling are. They are one, a sense of being, two, a sense of belonging, three, a sense of meaning, four, a sense of growing, and five, a sense of giving. Combine these senses with our physical ones and our life becomes filled to the brim with joy, love, and achievement. These principles lead naturally to the law of happiness which says, happiness is a choice. Happiness is an attitude that depends on the mental rules you and I set regarding our own thinking about these conditions. We either choose to make ourselves miserable or we choose to be happy and strong. The amount of the work is the same. And that work is our thought work. Success and happiness depends on the thoughts we choose to think. John W. Gardner, who was the Secretary of Health, Education, and Welfare under President Lyndon Johnson once said, and I quote, We all want meaning in our lives. And so when we raise our sights to strive for excellence and dedicate ourselves to the highest goals of our society, we are actually enrolling in an ancient and meaningful cause, the age-long struggle, whether we're a man or a woman, to realize the best in us, end quote. When I began my journey to business alignment over a year and a half ago, I had no idea of how incredible and adventurous that journey would become. It has become a journey of not only working to achieve excellence in manifesting my dreams and goals into the world of the physical, but also in manifesting who I am and who I am becoming as I continue to move forward and upward. As I've continued to work on becoming the better me, the best me that I can be, my old self with my old story is fading fast. And that champion in me, the hero of my own story, is emerging even more each time I enter the ring and face my challenger on a daily basis. The challenger being my old self with all my old stories that I created of myself and the old rules I set down or laid down in my mind for me to follow. And now, after 18 months of continually going uh, into the ring and facing my challenger, I feel that old challenger has stopped showing up to fight me. But there are now new challengers I'm having to face. But I have an entire toolbox full of tools of success and a skill set now that's helping me defeat these new challengers. And this will be the case as I continue on down the road and the path of living my dream called living the dream. So there you go. I felt confident that you would appreciate this tip on how we can enjoy both success and happiness at the same time. Just know that as we improve our thoughts and shed our old stories lies, those lies that have held us back and kept us from winning the fight in our ring of life, our challenger will fade and even stop coming into the ring. And our new and exciting thought work will set the table against our new challengers so that we can enjoy both success and happiness in our daily lives. Because we now know it truly is our choice to be both successful and happy at the same time. 
because of the thoughts we think. Oh, that's so important. Now, before I let you go, let me take just a moment to invite you once again, those of you who have an interest in what you know whatsoever in learning more about my Live in the Dream coaching to be my guest on a private coaching call with me. I love coaching beginner entrepreneurs just like you on how to start and launch a successful business, and I'd be extremely honored to be your coach, even if it was just for a one-hour private coaching call on my nickel. Please accept my invitation to jump on a private call with me and see for yourself what it's like to have a coach, a coach who is dedicated to helping you achieve your dream of owning a successful business. In the email I sent you for this Good to Know Monday tip, I included a link that says free coaching call with Coach B. Go ahead and click on it and set up your free private coaching call with me. I think you're going to love it. And as I help you um, and discuss your concerns and questions, it will help take you to the next level. I promise I won't pressure you to become a member of my beginner entrepreneur community. That's not my style. In fact, I bet you'll come away saying to yourself, man, that was great. I really enjoyed that. Okay, I'm done with the invitation. And so until next Monday, when I'll send out my next Good to Know Monday tip, I want to wish all of you continued success. Goodbye.